In this video, we're going to cover the final in our series on how to set up your Hikvision IP camera to be able to view directly from your phone uh, without the need to use an NVR. Um, so this is uh, this has been a quite an interesting uh, process. So remember, in the first video, we covered the topic of how to put your actual Hikvision IP camera. Uh, connected onto the local network. Then we used, in the second video, we used a, a software program on your local PC called um, SADP Tool, which allowed us to actually log in over the local network, uh, which was connected directly to the, the um, the, ca the Hikvision camera and configure it for global viewing, okay? And then in the final step here, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come along and we're going to download uh, the HitConnect app, which is the app that you'd use for viewing a Hikvision camera directly onto your phone. So our, my colleague now is gonna speak us through this. What we've done on this particular one is we're demonstrating it on an Android phone, although it'd be identical on an iPhone. And also we've downloaded the HitConnect app. So uh, speak us through it now. Right, so firstly, you're going to download your app off the App Store or um, through Google itself, and then when you first enter the app, so on this itself now, I already have our account and everything already on it, so just for the purpose um, of privacy and that. So what we're going to do next is, after you register your account, um, you go to Add Device, which is straight on the main menu, you go Allow, and then you can, uh, you can do this through scanning a QR code or you can add... Um, the code manually so you select the pen up here and then you get three options here so the hit, hit connect domain IP domain or power annex but that's just hit visions alarm system that's nothing to do with the cameras itself um, so then for the serial number this is how we're going to add our camera so the serial number would be on the box that you get the camera in itself so as you can see here Connor, right, can you just confirm that it's unique to the particular camera or is it for that particular range of cameras so for every single camera has a specific um, code so once one one code is added to a camera no this code won't be used again okay so for this code here now so we select what we want to add it through the um, code of the camera so what we're doing is um, we're selecting hit connect the main and then the serial number on the side of the box we're going to add that then so this will be down usually as SN on the box so what we're going to do is we're going to add it manually so seven four seven and then when you have that code in what you do is you click the icon here on the top right hand side of the screen so this will be searching for your camera so it's after noticing that this camera is up in the cloud so what you do then is you go add so then you have to set up a verification code on your SADP tool so that's just to verify that it's you and there's no one else trying to get in so every camera has a specific verification code so for this purpose of this video I just selected one two three four five six so we set that up in the last video when we were doing the setup on the uh, SADP tool um, on video number two in the series yeah so what we do then is OK so then it'll bring it to the next screen add and complete then you go to next so up here then is just to name your camera so we'll just say cam one and we save that so what we get now it will bring us in and you can just uh, get rid of that there on the screen so what we do then is so your camera is now on it's after seeing now it's up in the cloud and uh, it's ready to go so what you do is you just click on the camera then so that'll bring up your camera straight away I'm just gonna go and wave my hand and it. yeah so then at the bottom then um, it's just the the different views and the different um, resolutions so this is just basic quality and down here you have your three options HD standard or basic so everyone obviously wants HD so that's how you change it here but I suppose a key point at the end of this Connor is if you follow the three steps that we've gone through in the three videos of connecting the hardware um, logging into it over the local network to open it up for global viewing and then downloading the app directly onto your phone at that point then you're actually able to come along and view a single standalone camera that's connected to a network uh, from anywhere on your phone yeah so you'll be able to live view uh, the camera as long as it's connected to any network um, remotely. So what you'll need for this is a Wi-Fi connection and your camera and you're ready to go then for remote, remote viewing. 
Okay, so that brings our series of videos to an end. Uh, we have a similar set, we'll say, for other things. Probably the dominant ones in the market. This is obviously Hikvision, which is market leader, uh, but also the Who are very, very popular, and we have a similar set there, uh, and the steps are more or less similar. So um, this is a very, very applicable series.